nobody ever tried to build a utopian society like in East Vancouver or in and around Kelowna. People, people try to do it here all the time. What does that say about this place? Lots of people find the perfect place to live in the West Kootenays. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate in the West Kootenays right now, I'd be happy to help you too. You can give me a call, you can text me anytime. I would be happy to help you move to BC. The Slocan Valley is a complete dead spot when it comes to cell coverage. Want to call in a forest fire you just spotted? Too bad. <laughs> We are actively fighting fires in the backyards of homes. Escape routes can quickly be compromised or cut off completely. Need directions to make sure you're taking that tanker of jet fuel up the right gravel road? Sorry. Did you see an accident or a Sasquatch or a cheetah and you just want to tell someone? To get real for a second, they don't, they don't have cheetahs in the Slocan Valley. That's Crawford Bay. This is the entrance to the Slocan Valley. It's about 15 minutes from Nelson. It's about the same from Castle Guard. Think of this as the gateway to the 100 kilometers of weirdness that is the Slocan Valley. Claymore Junction is where Highway 3A and Highway 6 meet, and as junctions are wont to do, it's getting busier, it's growing. And it's eclectic with businesses, residential property, commercial, industrial, all kind of jumbled together. It's also got childcare facilities, and it's got schools from kindergarten to grade 12. I'm so excited for school. This is Crescent Beach in the Crescent Valley. That way is Playmore Junction. That way is Crestova. There's Crestova. Cradled by the Rocky Mountains, this valley was once the center of the largest communal living experiment in North American history. Krestova was one of the original settlements of a weird group of Russian pacifist immigrants called the Dukobors. Rejecting the trappings of the modern world. Petra thought I'd get in trouble for saying weird. I don't know what other word. It's out of the ordinary. It is an outlier. And then there's Crescent Valley. Crescent Valley, on the other hand, has recently been the site of a large influx of a weird group of American pacifist immigrants called Draft Dodgers. An estimated 125,000 Americans fled to Canada in the 1960s and 70s. Decades later, many of those men still live north of the border. You see a pattern. I just recorded a bunch that didn't get recorded. But let's go take a look at what you can expect from the housing stock around there. This one on Vogel Road. Just under four acres, I think 3.8 acres, 3,700 square foot house. Well appointed. Listed at 777, sold for 10 grand under that in August of 2020. Now let's jump from there over to Playmore. 1023 Garden Road. It's like a 1992 manufactured home a full ground level walkout with what I think of as the mother of all carports. So that listed for 525, sold for 510. Now Crescent Valley, 4101, 4105, Crestova Lower Road. It's on Crestova Lower Road, but it's actually in Crescent Valley. This was listed for 789, spent 97 days on the market and ultimately ended up selling for 637.5. Two houses. 12 acres and change, a number of outbuildings. It had a big triple carport on it. It also actually included 400 feet of frontage on the Slocan River, although not very usable across the road. 
637.5 last fall. And I just want to take us back to Crestova for a second to look at 3579 Gander Road, listed at 259. This was 1,200 square foot, two bedroom, one bath, all on one level on this really pastoral little acre and a half property with a little creek running through it. Keep in mind that this is a sale from August of 2020, so it could have appreciated 20% since then, 10% certainly. So when you talk about the temperate sweet spot that is the West Kootenays, I don't know if you're gonna do better than that anywhere else. Maybe Greenwood? I only work in the West Kootenays but I can show you how to pick an awesome realtor anywhere. It's easy, it's free, it's guaranteed. If we pick the right realtor together, you get paid. Interested? Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't wanna be one of the nameless. I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations.